Hello and welcome back to my channel. If you're brand new, thank you for stopping in. If you're an oldie but goodie, welcome back. Today I have my empties for February. I have quite a bit of stuff. I'm just going to start with what's in front of me and just go from there. Also, I will be telling you my totals as usual and we will see how much was used up in the month of February. So as I jump right on in, I have a humongous pile of stuff right in front of me. I'm going to start with this right here, which was a shampoo um, and conditioner little like sample packs. This is the Palmer's Coconut Oil Formula. This is the repairing, well, this one is the conditioning shampoo and this is the repairing conditioner. This um, product, I'm not going to pick up a full-size version of it just because I did not like the way it smelled. And I'm very, like, smell-driven. So if it's something that I don't like the way it smells, it just alters my way of thinking uh, about it. I just don't like it. So this one's a no-go for me. And the product itself was just, like, basic. So then the next thing that I have right here is a mask from the Crumb Shop. This one I did for a leap year. Uh, it's a tidy up skin animated frog mask and this one has tea tree oil i absolutely loved this mask not because of the animation but because of the tea tree oil and it really felt like it was just tingly and penetrating in my skin and i really liked it so i would definitely pick up more of these absolutely then I have a chocolate and raspberry sheet mask. This one was okay. The smell kind of was like chocolatey but raspberry. It kind of reminded me of like a dark chocolate Godiva type of, um, you know, chocolate. And I mean, I liked it. It wasn't something that I would just go back and buy tons of them because I didn't see anything really happening. It's supposed to firm and tone. It was just basic. Then I have some more packets of things. This right here is the Tali Wajid Green Apple and Aloe Hold Me Down Gel. Really like this product. I have two little sample packets and I was able to use them separate days. So I really like the way this holds and I would definitely pick up a full size of this product. Then next I have a mask from Cost W. This is a rose mask. This one was nice. It's conditioning and brightening. It was normal. I Like I've always said with masks, if they're standouts, I'll let you know. Otherwise, they're just like really good and I like them and that's fine. But it's not something I'm going to run out to get more of. Then right now I have in my hand a pack of the Cleansing Hibiscus and Pink Clay Facial Wipes from Bolero. These wipes are really nice, but I'm moving away from wipes. You guys kind of already know that if you don't, I'm going through this whole like not wanting to use cotton and um, wipes and things like that just to be more uh, eco conscious, right? So next I have the Village Natural Therapy. This is their Muscle Relief Mineral Bath Soak. It's basically bath salts. And this one has Epsom salt, menthol, and spearmint. Really like that combination. It feels really good on the body so i would definitely get more of these because i like soaking then the next thing that i have here is a mask and this is a life of beauty this is one from the brand body pure it's their biocellulose mask with tea tree and honey i really like this one i love the way the biocellulose mask feels it has like this skin like feeling to it that i really like so i would definitely pick this up again and again and again <laughs> And then uh, next I have a eye mask. This is a mood patch or from Patchology. It's their downtime eye patch and I really like these. I have a whole box of them so I'm not going to get any of these anytime soon but I do like them a whole lot. Then I have from Estee Lauder another eye patch type deal. This is the Advanced Night Repair Concentrated Recovery Eye Mask and this one was nice as well. These are kind of pricey, so I don't know that I will see myself buying these in the future. Then after that, I have another tea tree mask. This one is from Balloon Blanc, and it's a blank therapy type mask. I love anything with tea tree, so I have a theme here. I have a lot of tea tree things going on. But yes, this one, this was good. And I had a couple of breakouts, so I guess that's why I was doing a lot of tea tree. Then I have another mask. This one is from Yada, and this is their collagen mask pack. This one has snail essence in it, so this one was really nice as well. We have a Soe Uniform.
Unicorn Glow Hologram Mask. This one was really nice. And I just like the way they look. So then we have one from Farmstay. This is a real avocado uh, essence mask. This one was really good as well. Um, another Life of Beauty from Body Pure. This is their Namaste All Day Girl Biocellulose one, which you guys already know. I love that. This one was tomato and charcoal. To me, that was an interesting mix. But I didn't smell any of those on it. So there you go. Then from Look At Me, we have the Sweet Honey Bear Face Mask. I remember this one. It was kind of sticky and it smelled really sweet, but also like honey, like candy honey. I don't know if that makes sense. Uh, this one was a, it was okay. It's not my favorite. Then we have from Dr. Jart, Sika Pear Calming Mask. Um, this one's for sensitive skin. This one was really nice. I have more of these. I'm not going to pick them up anytime soon. We have from Taste Beauty, this one, which was a berry face mask. And this one smelled like candy, like fruit candy. So it didn't really smell like strawberry, but it did smell like candy. Then we have, okay, we have a shampoo treatment from Schwarzkopf. This is their Blonde Me Curtain Restore Blonde Shampoo, which I am loving. I bought the full size of the Blonde Me, but the one for all blondes, which is a purple shampoo. Still haven't used it, but definitely like this one. So I know that I'm going to love the other one. It has the most like rich smell to it. I really like, and their mask is awesome. It's from my school. So I kind of like, am I biased? I don't know. <laughs> then we have here from Farm State another one of theirs. This is their Real Mango Essence Mask. This one was um, fruity and it smelled nice. So that's what I wrote on the pack. And I guess I liked it. Then from Face Story, we have the Ace That Face. And this one was a good one as well. Nothing bad to say about that. Okay, and here's that other part to the um, shampoo. So this is the conditioning um, treatment. This is a like a keratin mask from Blonde Me or Schwarzkopf Blonde Me um, edition. So that that's great. This product, um, the mask is amazing for your hair. Then the next one that I have here is a mask from LA Colors and it's their Cucumber Face Mask. It's a hydrating and cooling. This one was brand new to me. I didn't even know this brand made face masks. So I was like surprised to see it. And um, I love that I found it because these feel nice. Then from Coco Star, I have this, the Slice Mask Sheet. This is one of those masks with like the little strawberries on it and you just place the strawberries on your face. So much fun to do. Not so much into the whole like not having a full sheet mask on my face, but it's fun. And this one did smell like strawberry. So that I can say, I like the way that smelled. Then from Make Prim, this is their Air Mask which was really nice. Didn't even understand what air mask meant, but I liked it. We have, okay, so we have another thing that stood out, but not for a good reason. We have from By Nature from New Zealand, the Purifying Charcoal Manuka Honey Mask. This one was very messy. It was sticky. Uh, it's one of those where you put on the face mask and then you have to leave it on. And then once you take it off, you have to wash your skin. So that I'm not sure that I love. I'm not that type of person who wants to put on a face mask and then wash it off. I like the ones where it's just serum and it stays on your skin. So this one was like a no for me. I don't think I'll ever go out of my way to purchase this. Then we do have a facial scrub mask from Set Moin. And this is their Refreshing Papaya and Strawberry Seed Facial Scrub. This one was really nice. And I don't know if I mentioned this brand before, but this is like a very affordable brand for like younger people, I want to say, like that are on, a, if you're on a budget, but you want really good clean skincare, check out Semoy or It's Me. Um, that's a good brand. Then we have an eye mask here. This is a hemp and collagen under eye pad from Azor. This one was nice. Um, the, it kind of shocked me because it was like a fabric type of material. When I usually get eye patches, they're more like jelly, silicone type. I don't know. I just wasn't ready to see something that was like sheet mask 
for under eyes. I don't know. But this one was nice. So then from Bolero, we have a cleansing coconut and rose oil wipes. Again, same deal. Just using them up so that they're gone, but not that I'm going to get any more of those. We have some more masks, so bear with me. From Evette, we have a Daily Fresh Squeeze mask. This one was in Soothing Lychee. like this a whole lot. It felt good. I uh, got more of those to come. Um, Equipori, I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but it's a dual balancing moisture mask. This one was nice as well. Liked it. It was Lotus slash Dandelion moisturizing. Good. This is good stuff. Then from Mask Bar, we used an animal's mask. This one was a flamingo and it was supposed to be a hydrating mask. It was nice. I think the problem with these masks, with the animal masks, sometimes that they dry up a little too quickly. But other than that, they really do have ingredients that feel pretty good on your face. So we have that. Then from Annie's Way, we have a bubble tea mask. This one I thought was interesting. It's in grape scented uh, type mask. I pretty much got it because of the packaging, but was pleasantly surprised and I like it and I have several more so I don't have to go out of my way to buy them because I have them already. Then I have from Cost W, this is another one of theirs. This is just the collagen mask and it's supposed to firm and hydrate. So we have that. Um, these are great. I would definitely get the Cost W ones again. They, um, I know they were a gift from someone, but I think I can find them very easily on Amazon. And then we have here a uh, rubber mask from Dr. Jarts and this is their firming lover. They all have weird names. So Firming Lover, and it came with the ampule that goes in here, plus the sheet mask. So you apply the ampule, and then after that, like, you put on the mask, and there you go. It feels good on your skin. Love these. Whenever I see these at, like, TJ Maxx, I just grab them all because, like, it's worth it. They're they're expensive masks, but if you could find them for, like, $7.99, it's cheaper. So then I have in here... A facial cleanser from Laneige. This is the moisturizing cream cleanser. This one was okay. I kind of feel that it was, it wasn't necessarily my favorite just because it wasn't like drying, but it wasn't hydrating. It was just like kind of very normal. And for it to be a normal to dry skin type of cleanser or cream cleanser, I thought it should have a little bit more moisture to it. I wasn't a fan. I'm not going to get a full size of this. Then we have here, this is a dry shampoo from, it says Cake, but this is not Cake brand. Is it Cake brand? I'm not sure. It's the Do Gooder Quick Cleansing Dry Shampoo. I really love the scent of this. It smells really nice. I felt like it didn't have much inside of this bottle and I went through it really quickly, but I would definitely purchase a full size of this because it did smell amazing. And I didn't have a lot of white cast with this either, so plus. Then next up we have a watermelon glow sleep mask from Glow Recipe. Had this for quite a while. Finally finished it off and I go through these spells of I love you, I hate you, I love you, I hate you. And then when you're gone, I'm like, why are you gone? Why did I use it so quickly? But in any case, um, really like this product. I always love the way this feels. But it felt like ages for me to get through it. Like this legit took me a whole year to get through. Needless to say, I would possibly get this again in the future. But we have plenty right now. Then next up I have from Smashbox. This is the Radiance Primer. I like this a whole lot. I like this under my normal foundation. And I just like it when I whenever you use like more drier foundations, I think this is like perfect. So I'm I'm in love with it. I would definitely get a full size of this. We have an eyeliner from Sugar and this is not even an empty. This is not even a used. This was the worst eyeliner I've ever put on my eyes, ever, hands down. Tested this out about three times, each and every time. It skipped, it didn't make a line really nice. This is certified trash, sorry, it was. 
Then next up we have a Babe Lash Serum. I talk about Babe Lash um, quite a bit. It's my favorite serum for my eyelashes to grow. They have grown a whole lot and it's all due to this bad boy. I really like it and I would definitely keep on purchasing this no matter how expensive it is. It's just good stuff and I like it. Next up we have from Kipris, we have the Antioxidant Dew uh, Glow Serum. And it's just, this is their serum. I really like this. Use this up like really quickly to be honest. And yeah, I just, I really liked it. This was something that um, they did with BoxyCharm. So I hope to see this around again, but I think it's expensive. So I don't know if I would actually buy it for myself. <laughs> craziness so i have a softies extra hold gel in here as well used up this pot of gel uh i don't know if i would get this same one again just because it was like the black gel and i would much more prefer a clear or like a brown like light brown gel instead um but i really like the way this smells and i get that at the dollar store then we have from we have a storm outside, so I don't know if you can hear. It's really bearing down out there. Next we have from Aussies, the Miracle Curl Leave-In Detangling Milk. Uh, this is a favorite, holy grail, whatever you want to call it. It comes back and it'll always come back. I always have this in my stash. So definitely we'll always pick that up. We have some nails. We got quite a bit of let me grab everything that's nails uh, this many nails this is what we have here we have two from sassy and chic two packs for sassy and chic two no three packs of the uh la color ones i love the fit on this one i don't know why and then one of the nailicious so lots of nails next up we have a loofah which fell apart used it like three times and it fell apart so also i was i'm moving away from loofahs as well i'm gonna buy or i have already bought at this point um some wash rags and i just think that's gonna be a little bit more easier than like spending money and throwing these out uh with a with a wash rag it's easy just to like use it a couple of days and then like throw it in the laundry get another one and just like it's easier to just wash them than to have this type of sponge where you have to like it could hold germs and you can't clean it you just got to throw it away so i feel like it's more plastic i'm not going to be buying these anymore that's just me then next up i have from kaleon this is one of my favorites oh my goodness this is the magic black powder cleansing balm love this stuff uh used it all the way up all the way up like every last bit uh this is what i used to clean off my makeup it just went on really easily once the balm was on your skin it became like an oil it helped remove everything like when i tell you mascara eyeliner tough whatever makeup from all the day it comes off with this i love it and i would definitely recommend and actually purchase this again then actually i did not purchase this one to begin with this one was gifted to me by uh kaleon by their brand and i am in love with it so i would definitely purchase my own going forward then the next thing that i have here is from secret it's a body cleansing wipe this was a pack of or a box of 15 of them did use these these are just easy to throw in your purse and use them whenever you need them so i uh, use that i don't know that i'm gonna go out of my way to purchase more of those but i did use them then from olay we have a soap this one was their ultra moisture shea butter soap used it um i mean it's soap we always need soap then we have here from derma e a hydrating gentle cleanser i think i mentioned this one in previous empties i don't like the way this one smells it has a very earthy smell to it but it's because it's one of those type of products that is very earthy so 
you have that. Then from Taliwajid, I have some more samples. I have their curl definer, which I really like the way that felt as well. And the curl elixir, and I really like the way this one felt as well. I mean, I don't think I would go out of my way for these two products, but I definitely like the gel a whole lot more. And then I did get to use a Palmer's exfoliator. This is their coconut sugar exfoliator. It was all right. I don't think that I will go out of my way to pick that one up either. We have a Yankee Candle right here um, that I burned. It was their returning classic Rainbow End. And this one has a, it had a nice scent to it. Um, but towards the end, I was just like over it. And I was just like, when is this darn candle going to finish? Um, not one that I would go back and pick up just because I liked it, but I wasn't, after a while, I was just like done. I don't want it no more. And then we have two little samples of perfume that were used up. The Lancome Miracle and the uh, Victor and Roth Bonbon. So this one was really nice. Uh, I don't think I'm going to purchase a full size of it. Bonbon, I already have a full size of it that was gifted to me. So love that. And definitely will be using that, but not picking up more of it because I already have it. So now let's get into the fun part of the video where I tell you my totals and what was used and all that good stuff that you guys definitely want to know, right? So for the month of February, we used a total of $361 with 71 cents. I always say like, what? Um, I, I can never like understand or grasp the amount that is used. Like I just, it doesn't make sense, but it makes sense. But it's like, you buy a lot of stuff, girl. You need to stop. <laughs> All right. Um, so then my grand total when I combined January and February together was $654 with 97 cents. It's month two and we're already $600 in, which is like beyond me. Like what? Like how? You, I don't know. Anyway. Do you know, do you know how I, I use up all this stuff or like how I manage to have all of this? Because sometimes it just doesn't click with me. It doesn't make sense how many products get used up. But in any case, <laughs> if you like this video and my crazy nuttiness, go ahead and give me a thumbs up. Go ahead and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Become a member of my guns fam. And as always, from my house to yours. I love ya.